Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Lee. You're watching Dark Roots Creations, and this is my most anticipated reads for September 2023. I feel like I say this every month, but I can't believe September is about to be here. Even just the other day, I was making some appointments, and she's like, okay, well, the girl's on vacation, and when she comes back, we could do it that weekend, and that was September 1st. I'm like, are we here already? I'm not complaining, though, because that means summer's over, and I'm ready to move on. And that's perfect for the first book that I'm going to tell you guys about. This is Picture Perfect Autumn by Shelley Noble. A Manhattan photographer finds inspiration and new possibilities in a gothic Rhode Island beach house in this uplifting fall set read from the New York Times bestselling author Shelley Noble. Danny Campbell is the latest darling of the Manhattan art scene. As a self-taught photographer, Danny is loving every minute of her sudden popularity, but has no idea how she got there or a clue as how to stay. On a shoot at an antique barn, she discovers an envelope of old photos and sees in them what photos are missing. Her search for the source leads Danny to a small Rhode Island town, a dilapidated American Gothic beach house, and Lawrence St. Clair. Reclusive and bitter, the last thing 80-year-old Lawrence wants to think about is photography, the thing that inadvertently led to his son's death and tore his family apart. But Danny is determined and persuasive, and Lawrence can't help but be intrigued by the girl with spiky hair who wants to learn from him, when almost everyone else just wants to relieve him of his substantial fortune. Danny and Lawrence's mentorship blossoms unexpectedly, but everything is put in jeopardy by the appearance of Lawrence's estranged grandson, Peter. Peter is determined to spend some time reconnecting with his grandfather and get rid of the supposed fortune hunter after Lawrence's money. But Danny is not what he was expecting, and he soon discovers that they have more things in common than not. Brought together by fortune, fate, and the ties that bind, all three embark on journeys of discovery and love. Okay, so this is just perfect because it's set in Rhode Island, which I love, a beach house. I like the idea of her going to an older man to kind of get his professional experiences going. And I also like that um, you could tell there's probably going to be a romance between Peter and Danny. So... Anyway, looking forward to this one. The cover of this is gorgeous and all types of fall. And this is coming out on September 19th. Next up will not be for everyone, but since I read the series and this is like the latest newest one out, I'm gonna go with it. This is mythology, middle grade fantasy. This is the Chalice of the Gods by Rick Riordan, and this is number six in Percy Jackson and the Olympians. After saving the world multiple times, Percy Jackson is hoping to have a normal senior year. Unfortunately, the gods aren't quite done with him. Percy will have to fulfill three quests in order to get the necessary three letters of recommendation from Mount Olympus for college. The first quest is to help Zeus's cupbearer retrieve his goblet before it falls into the wrong hands. Can Percy, Grover, and Annabeth find it in time? Again, this, if you haven't read the series, you're probably not going to be interested in this one. I've always enjoyed them. I've read, I think, all, like, all the spinoffs of it I've read. I think the only one I didn't keep up with was uh, Magnus Chase. Um, but that's fine. I mean, to go back to the original um, Percy Jackson will be fun. And this one comes out on September 26th. Okay, next up is a YA mystery thriller. And this is The Thieves' Gambit by Cavion Lewis. The Inheritance Games meets Ocean's Eleven in this cinematic heist thriller where a cutthroat competition brings together the world's best thieves and one thief is playing for the highest stakes of all, her mother's life. At only 17 years old, 
Ross Quest is already a master thief, especially adept at escape plans. Until her plan to run away from her legendary family of thieves takes an unexpected turn, leaving her mother's life hanging in the balance. In a desperate bid, she enters the Thieves' Gambit, a series of dangerous international heists where killing the competition isn't exactly off limits, but the grand prize is a wish for anything in the world, a wish that could save her mom. When she learns two of her competitors include her childhood nemesis and a handsome, smooth-talking guy who might want to steal her heart, Winning the gambit becomes trickier than she imagined. Rosh tries her best to stick to the family creed, trust no one whose last name isn't Quest. But with the stakes this high, Ross will have to decide who to con and who to trust before time runs out. After all, only one of them can win. Okay, goosebumps I actually have because, I mean, I already love the Inheritance games. I love Ocean's Eleven. I love the whole trilogy of those. And, I mean, this is a whole book about thieves and heist and on a competition level. So I'm all about this one. And this one comes out on September 26th. And the last book on my list and probably the book I'm most looking forward to is Bright Lights, Big Christmas by Mary Kay Andrews. When fall rolls around, it's time for Carrie Tolliver to leave her family's Christmas tree farm in the mountains of North Carolina for the wilds of New York City to help her gruff older brother and his dog Queenie sell the trees at the family stand on a corner in Greenwich Village. Sharing a tiny vintage camper and experiencing Manhattan for the first time, Carrie's ready to carve out a new corner for herself. In the weeks leading into Christmas, Carrie quickly becomes close with the charming neighbors who live near their stand. When an elderly neighbor goes missing, Carrie will need to combine her country know-how with her newly acquired New York knowledge to protect the new friends she's come to think of as family. And complicating everything is Patrick, a single dad raising his adorable dragon-loving son Austin on this quirky block. Carrie and Patrick's chemistry is undeniable, but what chance does this holiday romance really have? Filled with family ties, both rekindled and new, and sparkling with Christmas magic, Bright Light's Big Christmas delivers everything Mary Kay Andrew fans adore, all tied up in a hilarious romantic gem of a novel. Literally, I am that fan. Like everything about this just sounds great. I want to also point out that one of like the recommend, like, you know, one of the comments another author makes is nobody does Christmas like Mary Kay Andrews. And that's said by Debbie Maycomer, who a lot of people would consider like the queen of like those like quiz Christmas romances. I almost said Christmas. <laughs> Anyway, everything about this sounds so good. I actually just found out that this one was coming out today. I've been slacking on like looking at like my favorite authors and what's coming out. Ugh, just everything about this is going to be perfect. And this one also comes out on September 26th. Anyway, that's it. Let me know if you guys are interested in any of these. And if not, what you're interested in that's most coming out in September. Every time you guys leave comments, I add to my TBR and I love that. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.